Yeah. Yeah. So neither the gopis nor I shall notice this. Yeah. For our minds will always be entranced by one another's beauty and qualities. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's deep stuff. Anyway, uh, neither the, uh, the pure attachment will unite us even at the expense of moral and religious duties. Okay? And so that's, that's see, even if you don't see these pastimes with uh, Radha and Krishna and all that stuff going on, and they're uniting, even, the, the, you know, no moral thing will stop them. You know, and, and no, see, people teach on the level of morale. They say, Gohar, he's not very moral, you know. He's not moral. All he's a, look at this. He's doing this and doing that, you know, and uh, whatever he says. See, but hey, man, and, and the same thing with preaching Krishna consciousness. There's all these etiquettes going on, and and so one etiquette is I have to give if if I'm following the etiquette, I have to give uh, you know respect to people or Putinas, you know, and liars and cheaters and all that. Oh, see, I see. But that doesn't, you know, I, I'm, I'm inspired to, to please the Lord, man. And, and please the Lord is to tell the truth. Okay? Pleasing the Lord is practical. Pleasing the Lord is helping people, right? Not, not piously, but helping deliver them out of this illusion. They're all caught up in the illusion. They believe in the illusion as truth. That's the whole problem. That's why the Christians, they worship according to the Holy Spirit, especially in the early days. See, they were going around saying, hey, why are you worshiping these things? These are idols. This is not real. This is, they're just they're the Pharisees. They're not, they can't deliver you. The, the, Jesus came with the word. See, he came with the word. Anybody who believes in him and, and, and actually on your testimony, see, on their testimony, not on a, on a, see, a lot of people, they, they, they don't really know Jesus or they don't know Lord Chaitanya. See, therefore, their testimony is false. They come in and they say, yeah, I'm a representative of Lord Chaitanya. See, my dhoti and all this. See, I was initiated and all that stuff. But they don't know the Lord by experience. They don't know this. They're not <laughs> intimate with the Lord. And they're preaching Krishna, Krishna, but you don't see the fruit of ecstatic love. Hey, where's that fruit? But you see, with the Christian, you can understand from the parallels, you found a, find a person who knows the Lord. The Lord has revealed himself. He's given his spirit to, that reveals the truth about God. And you hear the preaching of that devotee, the testimony of that devotee, because it's clear, it's more clear, you know, because it's inspired. Jesus even said, the Father will speak through you via medium. See, an awakened spirit. Whoever will listen and believe in that preaching. That's why you come here. If you come to the point you believe that with this preaching, and as you convinced, you start to look, look at Mina. She's like looking and she's like, wow, this is really good. She's really liking this preaching. See, and then what happens? The spirit starts to awaken more. Gets ecstatic, huh? Look at the change. That, see, that, that's coming from, she's born of the words, she's born of the preaching, born of the testimony, the testament. I'm giving a testament of my, my experience and relationship with the Lord, you know, and all that's to do with that, my order of Prabhupada, Krishna coming, all of that, you know, and preaching the word that I see from all this ecstatic worship that goes along with the book. Those who come to say, hey, you know, that makes more sense than I heard. See, this is the way the book is presented. The book says here in chapter one of Adi Lila, I'm presenting this with logic and discrimination. Well, the devotee Bhagavad does that too. And when you become convinced that makes more sense than all these bogus, bogus persons that have claimed to represent Radha and Krishna and Lord Chaitanya, but don't yet because they're speculating when you say that this makes more sense, because I'm presenting it as it is, okay, then you start to feel the ecstatic nature of God. Simply because you're accepting the truth now. For once, you're getting purified. You don't get purified listening to speculators. There's a hypocrisy in that. 
They are not that. They are not as it is. And they give you speculation and they say, yeah, listen to suck on my tit. There's a little poison on it. You know, the tit is, yeah. So, here, put your ear here. Listen to this. Yeah, I look at me. Look at my dhoti. Don't I look like a uh, Uttamadikari and I boast and that I am and all this. But what I'm giving you is, is, is poison kata still because I haven't really realized Krishna by unalloyed devotion. See, I don't worship with ecstatic love. Therefore, I'm not cleansed. It's only ecstatic love that can cleanse the envy, jealousy, competition of even the mode of goodness in the heart. That was the problem with Prabhupada's God brothers. They, they were maybe in the mode of goodness following the rules, the regulations, but they couldn't cleanse the envy and jealousy out of heart. That's why a, a devotee has to be sent first. And then you have to submit to them and not think, oh, well, I'm just equal to them or I'm better than them. Okay? It doesn't, see, there's no room for the word to be purified. You can't even listen. You notice how people can't even listen to this preaching here because they think I'm equal or usually better. They can't even, it's not even logical. They can't even give one friggin' class. See, I'm here to convince you how stupid you are. That's all. <laughs> With logic and discrimination. Because if you can admit that, that'll be the first honest day you've had. First honest day. If you, you know, people are so dishonest in their heart, they can't even analyze it. Been bitten by the Maya and the speculation of these big, puffed up sannyasis who also can't understand nothing. They, they can't understand logic. But if I can convince one person, look at you. What, how many classes do you do? How many people can you point to what's really in the book? How much ecstatic love is visibly awakened in your body when you worship the Lord? How, can you, how many classes do you do day after day to be able to tell me that I'm wrong and all that? How, how many tears have you cried for Krishna? How much ecstatic? What well, you used to say, well, those are just false tears. I know so much. I never cried a tear in my life and you know that my tears are false. You are so illogical, so inconclusive, so full of envy, obviously envy and jealousy and false prestige, like this Purichit. Oh boy, do we name names, man. Thank you for being Bhagavatam examples. That's the best you can do, is to be a fool. But that's great. We need some of those in the pastimes here. We do. Thank you, Purishet. He said, oh, I have so much more bhakti and ecstasy than Gohari. Oh, look at his program. See if you see one friggin' tear coming to his eye. You don't. No, you don't. When That's a statement of envy, jealousy, false prestige, and lies. And I had big gurus say that to me. You know, oh, we have better bhakti over here. And it's not there. Because they don't even know what it is. And the people are following that as, as the real Sampradaya and, and successors of Prabhupada and all that. No, they're real successors for Maya, if you believe that. They make Maya successful in this world. See, I'm presenting here with a voice what the book is saying with logic and discrimination. I say you're acting like a fool if you can't give at least one class a day, much less three or four a day, talking about Krishna very conclusively and convincing others. And oh, oh, and by the way, how much, how much ecstatic love have you awoken in even one person? How much inspiration have you given one person? Well, I haven't done any of that, but I'm an authority. I just want people to believe my stupidity, my ignorance. Because I'm one blind fuck and I, I just fuck everybody else that believes me. See? There's the screwed and the screwer. See? If you want to be like that, you want to follow people like that, phew, go ahead, man. You're definitely taking another birth. See? This book 
says, I presented all this with logic and discrimination. Okay? And so you need to hear it from a person who presented it with logic and discrimination also. And if it makes sense to you, well then you're not too much bitten by the maya. Okay? Not too much bitten by it. Everybody's bitten somewhat. They come here, they get cleaned off pretty quick. If you listen and believe, with logic and discrimination presenting these things. It's like Paul said, you know, sometimes we're out of our mind for God, you know, and this is ecstatic worship. And sometimes we're in our right mind for you. See, people need to be convinced that they've been bullshitted, man, by the Maya, by the Putanas, who looks like the great devotee. Doesn't she look like really good there? My God, they all even fooled, fooled the residents. I got fooled sometimes. Yeah, I got some Putanas come in. Some, wow, well, they look like they're really a real deal. But after a little bit, you start to see, hey, man, something's off here. Wait, dividing our Sangha, what's that about? Getting your little follow, oh, and, and then saying, oh, I don't want, oh, not me, I don't want to be in charge of a guru and everything. Oh, let me steal a couple of your disciples first. Also, <laughs> see, whoa, who's that the work of, man? <laughs> and don't tell Gohari while I'm doing it, man. You know, give me a, get a couple of months to just wrap you, my uh, cocoon around you. <laughs> See, that's a putana. Hey, people listen to that all day long in Vaishnavism. That's why even Christians who have the spirit, they look at this and they say, that's a dead religion, man. Where's the spirit? All they got are the rituals like the Pharisees had. Oh, and the little hats that you, you know, you wear. You want to just wear a little hat. You know, they wear their little dhotis, man. What is the difference? <laughs> You know, oh, you see, Vaishnavism is cultural, man. Oh, you gotta, you gotta put on a dhoti, man, and 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 the tilak. Otherwise, you're not a worshiper of Krishna. Like Krishna is a cultural person, or Jesus is culture. No, they're beyond religion, man. You, you know, you could be a Christian or or a Jewish person. You chant Krishna's name, you'll have the same result if you write association. You'll have ecstatic love like a person wearing a dhoti who chants the name in good asso transcendental association. You'll get the same kind of love, whether you have this dhoti or dhoti or nothing. If you walk around nude and chant the holy name in ecstatic love, I mean, you know, that's the ec same ecstatic love, right? Because the name produces that no matter what culture you're from. See? But now people teach cultural Vaishnavism, you know? Oh, you got to you got to look the part, man. Otherwise, that you can't worship Krishna because Krishna comes from India. No, he just happened to appear in India. Okay? Anyone who chants his name will get the same ecstatic love, provided you're in the right association of a person who chants the holy name in ecstatic love. Isn't that logical? Huh? You chant in association with a nice pressed dhoti and the big stick and they're looking like this and they have no ecstatic love and you think you're going to get ecstatic love? Isn't that stupid? Why not go to a person like here in our sangha? We, we worship according to ecstatic love. We even show it you know, right there on the camera all over the world. You know, you could see sometimes you catch us in the right moment, which is quite a few. You'll see when I'm not presenting things with logic and discrimination, You'll see a lot of this ecstasy. Okay? That's happiness, man. We're fueled by bhakti, real bhakti. It gives us good understanding and logic. We can present it. Convince people that are convinced by the bullshitters out there. You know, the obstacles to Vrindavan, the Putanas, the Kalyas, the Trinavartas that get your head spinning with speculation. Man. We clear all that stuff off. That's called preaching. This book was written by persons who were like this. They, you met a person. Well, if you met Krishna Das Kavira, he speak to you what he writes in the book, as it is. See, so I just follow in the in the line, man, because I did what he does. He worshipped the Lord, ecstatic love. Well, so do I, and so do people. Come listen here; they're getting it too. They can try to imitate Srila Prabhupada, but they 
but they do not try to imitate Gora, Gorka Shore, Das Babaji. <laughs> Gorka Shore, yeah, he was pretty ecstatic, man. <laughs> 